I mean, both both sides of the argument have good points as far as the gun control. Um, do you need a AK-47 to go duck hunting? Probably not. Um, but do you have the right to bear arms? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think they may need to do a little restrictions on who may be able to possess a firearm. Might be a decent start as far as restrictions on that, and maybe the restrictions on the type of firearms that we can own. I don't see any reason for us to be armed as if we're at war. I have nothing against people having guns. I have nothing against recreational use of them or hunting, but it doesn't make any sense that we have automatic weapons at our disposal or, or bazookas. Why do you need 100, 100 rounds of 44 Magnum, or why do you need 100 rounds of 9 millimeter? You know, what do you plan on doing? It's sad, but, and that's just it. I don't know if anybody has the answer. I mean, conceal and carry is just a big mistake, you know. I got two kids, and I don't like to see guns in the public at all, you know. As far as hunting and maybe, you know, collecting, that's fine. Keep it at your house locked up. Um, I really do feel as though, you know what, if, if everybody's carrying a gun, I think that there would actually be less crime probably because yeah, somebody comes at you, they're going to think twice if you probably are protected as well. If I have a family and someone was to break in my house, I wouldn't hesitate to use it, but I wouldn't carry it around to go around pow, you know. when they pass this that you conceal carry. Okay, I'm not going to conceal carry. But if I have it in the house and somebody breaks into my house, I'm going to protect my family, no matter what. You know, I'm a, I'm a Vietnam vet, so um, I did my part, but I'm not going to let anybody hurt, hurt me or my family either. Um, that's a, it's a touchy one. You know, the politicians don't, on either both sides don't touch that. And um, I, I'm, a, I'm a shooter. Yeah. I played paintball for 25 years, yeah. so I'm not one to maybe knock guns or to banish them. But um, I do think there's a hell of a lot of responsibility with gun ownership. Yeah. And in fact, if you're not comfortable with, with them, I don't think you should have one. The gun law is uh, too free, and it makes it easier for those guys to get in like that. I'm, I wasn't in favor of it, but it's too bad, but that was awful. To be able to carry guns, it's not going to do anything but cause more problems. It's not going to solve it. Everybody, oh, get a gun. Everybody has their different emotions and stuff, and you don't know what somebody's mindset is at the time something happens. So then you allow everybody to legally carry a gun. That does not going to do anything but cause more problems. I agree with so. that. And also, if we have friends or relatives that we suspect might have issues or problems, we need to step to them and say, hey, what's going on? Is there something we can do? And if you, you think it's serious, then you maybe need to speak to somebody else and say, hey, I think my friend needs help. It's more about the system being messed up, like helping people who are mentally not all there. So like, there's a lot of things that if they don't have health coverage or something, they can't get the help that they need, or there's things that they, you know, they their family tries to get them help if they know that they're not right in the head, but then they can't keep them in the mental health institutions too. That That's kind of a problem too, so we need to fix that, get mental help for people who need it, so. So if they don't have that mental health access. Right, yeah, so that's they're... very important, because the, the system's broken in that aspect too, as well, so. There's a big push for more and more and more cuts into local, state, and federal government. Well, the more and more cuts, guess who gets cut? It's going to be the resources that are needed, and one of them is going to be the mental health resources. And you see it locally here every single day, the cuts and the cuts, and there's just no access. I mean, even look at our local police force when they try to get people uh, you know, mental health care. You know, it almost comes down to the point where to get mental health care anymore, you need police intervention to first get you into the system to do that. And by the time you're involving police intervention, it's usually because something terrible has happened.